All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and uh, we're coming back with, a, with a, our first Valheim video in a long time. I am in the current mega build you can see here of the city of Farsight on my Adventure Time server. But the big news is, is the Ashlands patch came out for Valheim. So we're going to go over some of the new build pieces because I'm a builder. Uh, we don't know how you get these pieces yet. We haven't explored the Ashlands yet, but we're going to go over some of the pieces I've already been incorporating them into my builds. They are amazing. So let's just quickly go over uh, some of the new build features uh, in Valheim. As you can see, the build menu has now a heavy build uh, tab here, as well as a building tab. And then there's some crafting tables. It looks like they've added some crafting stuff that we, uh, we got to do. I don't want to go too much into that because uh, I want to... I want to uh, play the game myself in my uh, legitimate playthrough, not here on my creative server. But we will uh, go over one of the cooler things. It looks like we've got a shield generator. It looks like there's a catapult. It looks like there's a battering ram. But the real thing I think everybody wants to see from uh, this perspective, of course, is the new ship. Look at that. This ship is called, let's see, the Drakkar. And it is big and beefy. Look at that. It's a beautiful ship. Um, I look forward to figure out, figuring out what I got to do to make this in my legit playthrough. But my goodness, that looks good. Um, but we'll head back over here and let's see. Let's pull up some more stuff. Uh, you can now put down uh, bone stacks like this. Yep. And uh, there's a few more decorative pieces that you can add, but it looks like there's a few more weapons, shield generators and catapults. I'm not going to put those down. I put one down earlier. You can't break those down. And uh, I had to destroy quite a bit of stuff with my demolisher to get that down. It has a lot of health. So we'll go into... We're not going to look too much into the crafting, but we're going to go into the build menu. And uh, here are all the pieces that we now have. Uh, we have ashen wood walls with X's on it like that. Very nice. And then there's these V shapes. Oh, man, those are nice, too. And then you have little ones just like that. They're sectioned just like the regular walls are. Um, but they do have these archways now, which go with the uh, door down here the ashenwood door and what we'll do is we'll go over here because i have already begun to incorporate this stuff into my builds i am building an inn over here the far sight inn as you can see it's in progress but i incorporated these doors here and the floors they look really great along with the uh, window dressing here but those are the ashenwood drawers doors and uh, they have archways on them and as you can see, I kind of built in the uh, new arches that you get uh, with, uh, with this. Uh, we do have also this decorative piece here that looks really good. And uh, this piece, again, I've already incorporated a lot of these into my build starting already. So, and then there is that. And then we do have some, uh, some flooring, as you can see here. Very nice uh, horizontal sort of lines there. I think that's kind of something that everybody's been wanting, uh, myself included. And then there's this, there's a decorative floor piece that you can put down that gives you like this see-through floor. Very nice. Um, but here's the archways. Uh, you can see them here. I, uh, I have already started to incorporate them. They're already put up on this uh, end you see here. Uh, as some uh, window dressing for my doors and my windows. So I'm already uh, rolling with the uh, Ashlands building set. But we do have the ash wood beams. Uh, they're just like the uh, regular wood beams, but they're black. And that's good as well. And then you have, of course, all of the sort of standard build uh, pieces that we're familiar with, but they come in black. And uh, with a little bit, uh, if you look over here, it's got a little bit of a, uh, it's kind of brown there, you see? Very nice texture. Um, but there, and then we have some more stairs, some new stairs. Um, those seem to look pretty good. I haven't used them just yet, but I am kind of excited to use them. 
Um, and I believe that's everything for the new wood pieces. So we'll go over to the stone pieces, which is where we're really gonna we're really gonna have some fun here, because uh, they added quite a few new stone pieces uh, that really just look great in my opinion. I'm gonna tear some of this stuff down so I don't forget about it when I come through uh, for my build. Very excited about the Ashlands. I've got a playthrough that I'm so ready to, to my legit playthrough with a buddy of mine to get into the Ashlands and play it. But I know that I was, I logged on early this morning, saw the patch came out, and I was like, for the first time in my YouTube career, I actually am one of the first ones to uh, get the news. But we do have a lot of new stone items. Again, we don't know exactly how we're going to get these, but they are really cool. We got these steep stairs here. We got some uh, of these stairs. It looks really good. We got a bunch of like marble flooring with uh, squares, just like you see. And finally, a big, chunky floor piece. I'm so excited for this. There's so many floors that I've done that were really, really big. Um, I almost want to go back and redo this main road that I built into Farsight here. Uh, but goodness, that'd be a lot of work. But I definitely am going to be incorporating this stuff into the next mega build that I'm doing. But uh, yeah, big stone floor piece. And we got some of these really uh, cool pillars. Um, I have already been kind of fiddling around with how they work. They got a little bit of a, a wonky snapping sort of uh, points. But uh, you can work through that like all builders do. And then we have these tapered portions that are kind of interesting because they go oh it doesn't like being on the on the wood there so we'll go ahead and put it right here on the ground so it's nice and green but yeah and it it's really really interesting and this one's the upside down version of that I'll take off real quick Boop. and boom so you can make some really really cool pillars uh thanks for adding pillars now uh <laughs> but uh we're oh, I'm happy to have them, but after I learned how to make pillars uh, with wood, uh, you can see those in my Thor's Dane build. Maybe I'll do a video on how to do uh, Roman-style pillars, but uh, it's kind of a moot point now because they added these really cool pillars. And uh, it looks like you can do arches as well that are uh, similar in the, the shape uh, and texture of those pillars you see there. Very cool gonna be really doing some cathedral stuff with this uh, I can feel it because like I can already see myself uh, building a uh, cathedral and then making these into the windows just like you see here I can already feel myself making that choice oh I can't wait to build my next major church Thor's Danes going to look amazing but they do have some horizontal versions of them as well, like you see here, um, in those two different sizes. And then they have the larger size as well uh, of, of the archway that you see here. Very, very cool. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Then they got some just standard arches that you can put up, as well as these little things here. They really are giving us more arches to play with, which is super, super cool. So I look forward to using these. I know that on my Thor's Dane build, uh, doing all the pillars and trying to emulate arches was a real pain in the Tukus. But now that we have them, it should make my Thor's Dane build even better. Um, but we do have some more. We have some stone walls that aren't the uh, <laughs> aren't 400 feet thick like the foundation stones so finally for those of us who like building in stone we have stone walls it's super great um, and they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes we have these ones with the uh, we have these ones with the holes on it like this and uh, another one like that and then we get to uh, the stuff that is boggling my mind. We have a new roof tile set. And man, does this kind of thing kind of, kind of look cool. But what I'm really upset about um, as, a, as, a, as a builder is it fi they finally added uh, these tapered rooftop tiles like you see 
here. Let me see if I can get the uh, other side. Uh, that's the straight one. And then there's there's a curved one, and then there's a straight one. See, there's a, there's a curved. So they added a tapered rooftop tile, which which is amazing. I love it. I'm glad they did, but it really just ah, uh, I spent I this has been my signature roof for so long. I did the tapered roofs myself and made it made it look good. But now uh, all that's a moot point because you can just add a tapered roof to your house uh, with these new tiles very very cool and then we have uh, some big stone doors like you see here uh, stone and iron it looks like it's made out of what the material is very very cool cannot wait to uh, see how that goes as well and then of course we have some metal pillars and i'm assuming that the metal is uh, what we're going to find in the Firelands. But I'm not going to go into that so much. I just really wanted to go over the new build pieces for all the builders. We are going to have an absolute ball with this new tile set. It's been so long since we had a really, really good tile set. Um, I'm super excited for the Ashlands. Not just to play it. Uh, in my legitimate playthrough, but to build. Uh, I'm super glad that they added <laughs> the pillars, but I want to, I'm want i going to go over to Thor's Dane right now, and I'm going to go look at uh, the hard work that I put in building the pillars in my Colosseum to only have them be replaced by a tile set. So you guys can see. Maybe I'll give you a tutorial on how I built these monstrosities but here we are in Thor's Day and one of my other mega builds right now that I'm currently working on and here they are uh, my stupid Roman pillars that I went to all this trouble to make even with the tops and the bottoms and ugh, they added pillars this was such a pain in the butt to do and now there's pillars in the game so well done coffee stain I'm glad you added pillars but it feels like a little too little, too late for me and all the work that I put into these monstrosities here. But this is the arena in Thor's Dane. So, but I'll be coming back to work on this mega build later. I am currently stuck in Farsight and having a lot of fun building in Farsight. So, but that is the new build set, tool, tile set, guys. I'm super happy I got to share it with you. I just wanted to make a quick video going over the new tile set. And uh, for the first time in my YouTube career, I kind of am the one that got the drop. I was one of the first ones to be around and on the internet when a new patch dropped on a game that uh, is one of the games that I really enjoy playing and is part of my channel. So it's been great having you guys here. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and uh, you know comment down below uh, if you want to see more uh, Valheim content as well as some of my RPG contents uh, make sure you do that but this has been Aussie Grimm with the Gamers Grimm you guys have a wonderful day